Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the International Practice Festival 2020 where a couple of uh, 2700 uh, players um, uh, played the, their games and uh, one of them happened uh, just two days ago. Uh, Alireza Firuzia just played uh, against Pentala Hare Krishna and Alireza Firuzia, for those who don't know, uh, he's the Iranian uh, 16 years old um, prodigy which uh, plays a lot of uh, good games and he's already uh, 23rd player ranked in the world and his ranking is 2726 however at this moment he doesn't play for Iran uh, he play under the FIDE flag and he gonna decide uh, what's his future uh, if he gonna back to, to Iran if he gonna play for France maybe for USA or any other options uh, is still on the board and Hare Krishna Pentala who doesn't have these problems uh, he's from India he's ranking 2713 and he's 23 years old uh, and he's 20 I think 29 uh, ranked in the world at this moment by ranking uh, FIDE and, um, and yeah, that's all about the players. So definitely two very strong players and without further ado, let's jump into the game. Uh, we have e4 by Firuja, e5 uh, by Hare Krishna, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, a6, Rui Lopez on the board, bishop a4, knight f6, and we have castle by Firuja, bishop e7, so closed variation. Uh, and here a rook on e1 is the most popular move. However, we have a more solid d3 uh, and b5 um, by Hare Krishna. Bishop b3 uh, is played and now we have d6, c3. Uh, important move, uh, of course, in this opening, uh, preparing d4, but also uh, giving the space for the bishop to go on c2 if needed and now we have castle by Hare Krishna h3 taking away the spot um, this g4 um, square from the minor pieces black minor pieces and now we have knight on e5 attacking the bishop so a uh, bishop can retreat to c2 as prepared and now we have c5 d4 queen c7 and now d5 closing the center so most of the game um, gonna happen on the queen side and um, it's also possible that uh, black can have some counterplay on the king side uh, now we have knight on c4 b3 kicking the knight knight on b6 and now a4 challenging on the pawns uh, and here we have c4 uh, and in this position A takes on B5 uh, and this is interesting uh, moment where black has to decide what to do the correct move and the only move in this position what actually Alireza Firuja said in interview that uh, it's, it's obviously known that um, this pawn on B5 uh, shouldn't be be taken and Alireza Firuja know Rui Lopez very very well he won a lot of games as white but he also uh, lost to Magnus Carlsen so uh, he has a lot of experience in this opening definitely so um, now we have a takes on b5 which is uh, inaccuracy uh, c takes on b3 should be play and now bishop has to move somewhere bishop can take just on b3 uh, because uh, e4 pawn is hanging so bishop d3 and now after knight on f on d7 preparing uh, c5 uh, queen b3 uh, knight on c5 and then uh, the queen has to move to c2 knight d3 queen d3 and f5 and white stands maybe maybe slightly better but uh, black still have a lot of possibilities um, can open the lines um, or um, semi open lines on f for example uh, can attack also here on h3 and put some pressure definitely on the king side uh, from the other hand uh, actually the funny things that this um, this pawn actually can be taken uh, because there is the the line of bishop on e4 and then after f5 uh, bishop can go do on d3 because we would have the fork 
uh, so that's not the best option, but what could be uh, played is knight on e5. And now two minor pieces are under attack and black has to choose uh, which one to take. And of course f on e4 is the only option. And black still have the very good attacking chances on the king side, so um, that would be the option. However, knight on c6, it's interesting because now this knight can be very, very annoying. Uh, so after bishop on f6, um, that would be also equal, maybe slightly better for, for white, but a very interesting line. Uh, however, in this position, c takes on b3 uh, was not played, a takes on b5 was played, and that gives a lot of problems uh, to black and of course a lot of initiative uh, for white. So we have rook on a8, knight takes on a8, and now uh, b takes on c4, b takes on c4, and bishop a3. Uh, bishop on e3 maybe could be uh, slightly better, but uh, Firuzia has the plan for this bishop. Uh, he wants this bishop to actually uh, put the pressure on d6, and also there is very nice outpost on b5 for that bishop. Uh, we have knight on d7, so preparing f5, and now we have bishop on b4, um, and now knight on c5, so blocking the, the, the harm way of the bishop. Now bishop is still looking, but through the knight, uh, and here we have queen on e2, so now queen attacks uh, c4 pawn, and the pawn is of course undefended, so knight b6 defending the pawn, and knight b on d2 developing the, the last piece, and also attacking twice um, the c4 pawn. Uh, and here we have f5, f5 uh, which is in accuracy, knight c on d7 could be played and then actually this pawn could be defended, but f5 is kind of um, counter attack on the, on the king side. And here if e takes on f5, uh, it, it was not played by Firuzia. Uh, but after knight on d3, that would be quite interesting line, bishop on d3, c takes on d3, queen on d3, uh, all the pieces could be exchanged, bishop on f5, knight on e4, and now queen b7, putting now the pressure uh, to the central pawn, rook d1, and still queen d5, queen d5, knight d5, and now uh, knight d6. And after uh, knight on b4, uh, all, all of this is, you know, um, a very crazy line, but uh, knight f5, rook f5, c takes on b4, and bishop takes on b4, uh, that would be, you know, a uh, possible end of this um, nightmare on, on the, on, in the center, just exchanging all the pieces, and it looks uh, really, really... Uh, interesting, but at the end, as you see, nothing going on. There are a lot of tactics which I don't want to really go uh, through, but um, but that would be the most interesting line with in the, with the most peaceful, uh, you know, um, ending. Uh, however, uh, after f5, it was not taken, rook on d1 was played, so preparing to uh, defend d5 pawn, and now g6. Uh, so g6 and now uh, this is not possible, as you see in this line uh, fighting over the d5 uh, pawn uh, was very fierce, so um, now it would not be possible for black. So black just um, now defend the f5 uh, pawn uh, to don't give the, you know, any um, opportunities uh, yeah. for white to strike this way. And also, if this happened, then uh, black would have the very strong uh, pawn center. We have queen on e3, and queen on e3, actually, it's, it's the move which probably only uh, try to make black to, to, to go for f4. And f4 is not really great move, um, but it was played. It's closing the, the, the king side for black, and black doesn't have any, any more counterplay then. Uh, f on e4 could be better, and after knight 
and after knight on e4, knight on e4, and bishop takes on e4, uh, still some uh, options for black. Of course, this bishop can, can um, you know, have the attacking chances on the king. This rook uh, bringing also something to the table. So uh, it's still some counterplay on the king side, and white can't just, you know, go uh, all in in the, in the queen side. However, after, after the move f4, uh, this is the case now. So we have queen on e2, so still attacking twice, and, uh, and now black doesn't have any counterplay on the king side. So uh, bishop on e6, now defending, bringing extra defenders to the c4 pawn, but now we have rook on a1, so uh, white now can bring the, all the pieces to the queen side and uh, make a lot of advantage over there, as they have uh, quite some space. A rook on a8 uh, was played, a queen f1, so still keeping the eye on the uh, c4, while uh, can move the, the queen to the uh, closer to the queen side, uh, and now we have queen on c8. Rook a5, and here knight c to d7 was played, uh, but now it's, it's quite difficult to find the plan for, for black. Uh, black gonna lose the pawn. This pawn is, is impossible to defend and uh, this is what Alireza Firuzia said in his interview that, uh, th that it's very bad to, to have these pawn structures. So knight b3 could be the way, but it's also still not, not good. Of course, uh, knight can't take because c takes on b3 and um, white gonna lose the, the, the bishop. So not that not the option, but after knight on b3, bishop could take on b3, uh, c takes on b3, queen b1 going for this pawn and this pawn gonna fall, but uh, black can, you know, still cause some troubles. So uh, knight on c4 attacking the rook and after rook move to a4, uh, exchanging the knights. And then bishop b5 still, uh, you know, harassing the rook. Uh, rook would have to exchange uh, queen a8. And finally, knight can take on b3 and uh, white would stand better. Uh, but probably it's the best option for, for black. And um, but, but it would be already very difficult to, to defend that by black. Uh, knight c on d7 uh, is is worse actually. It's it's um, it's a mistake. And now um, Alireza Firuzia gonna show how to how to actually approach this um, this problem. So first queen on a1. We have bishop on b5. Uh, knight on b1. So bringing the knight uh, also on the queen side. Now look at the white pieces. All white pieces gonna move to the uh, to the queen side. We have g5 uh, trying to counterattack somehow, uh, but actually it's very very slow. Now all the initiative is in the white's hands. So uh, rook takes on a8. Knight takes on a8. Don't want to exchange the queens. And now queen on a7. And again, uh, the only way for black is is play some passive move, trying to exchange some pieces, but it, it, it would not help. Queen on a6, bishop takes on a6, and um, bishop a4 is coming, and white has a lot of advantage. So for example, knight um, a on b6, bishop on c6, now getting this nice outpost. Now king f7 because there is a threat uh, of picking up uh, e5 pawn and then if it's taken then of course the the bishop would fall. So uh, king f7 and now uh, knight a3, um, knight b8 attacking the, the bishop but bishop can just move to b5. Bishop b5 and knight on b5 and uh, and this pawn gonna just fall. This, this pawn is nothing can be done here. Uh, the knight can attack from this side, this uh, knight also can attack from this side. Uh, still, this, this is the best option for, for black according to the engine, but it still looks very, very bad. Uh, knight on c7 was played, knight on c7, so trying to bring the knight out from the corner, in the corner knight is, uh, as you know, it's, uh, it's horrible, uh, but now we have knight on a3, so attacking the bishop, 
we have bishop on a6 and here bishop on a4 and now uh what, what's the threat here so if black continue attack for example h5 we would have just you know overload overwork of the queen so um bishop on d7 queen on d7 uh, and now bishop on a5 so um this knight is attacked twice uh, but also this knight is defending the bishop on a6 so uh if bishop on d8 trying to defend just pick up this bishop and then white can pick up the uh, the another bishop and of course with extra a uh, minor piece and uh, the game is uh, won and um, there is no need to play so um h5 of course was not played uh, black tried to save the minor piece so play this knight on f6 uh, but there is a problem here now we have knight on g5 because uh, the pawn is not lo not longer um, defended so as you see black tried to do something but now um, this pawn uh, causing the problems so knight on g5 and now if black try h6 kick that knight uh it actually doesn't work because after h6 knight go on e6 and now um if bishop on b7 for example trying to to save that knight from the queen uh then we would have anyway knight on c7 queen on c7 and then knight b5 attacking the queen but also attacking the the pawn on d6 uh, but actually nothing can be done about that uh, if the queen is moved to d8 uh, then the bishop is lost so actually queen can go to c8 only uh, and then bishop on d6 uh, and everything you just collapse uh, black has nothing to do here uh, probably gonna lose more pawns and even maybe a minor piece and uh, if they try something crazy like uh, exchange the light piece for the for the central pawns uh, that would be possible but of course it doesn't work knight f d5 and after e takes on d5 knight goes to d5 defending this bishop but also uh look at this knight this knight is actually trapped and uh, this knight can't go anywhere around so uh this knight is actually trapped in the center of the board and um, bishop on d7 it's the you know uh saving move uh, and now queen on b7 and just exchange the pieces and knight on c4 so winning this pawn uh, this way or another and then all other pawns also also gonna fall and uh, as you see white already are the minor piece up so definitely winning uh, so in this position h6 just doesn't work so black try um slightly different approach they go for this crazy knight f on d5 but now they can attack uh, on g5 the problem is once they attack on g5 uh, i will show you he takes on d5 we have bishop on g5 but now this bishop don't defend d6 anymore uh, so we have bishop on d6 in the game and now knight on d5 uh, bishop d7 attacking the queen now queen b7 trying to uh, exchange the queens uh, but alireza firuzia just play bishop on e6 with check king g7 now bishop on e5 with check and bishop on f6 and now feel free to pause the video and find the uh, final blow for white uh, white already won that game but still have to you know find the best move in this position while i enjoy my cup of tea okay are you ready so uh, if you find queen on c5 you would probably win the game but it's not uh, so obvious how to do that uh, you will still have to you know grind your way to the victory however if you find queen on d4 this is the only move like this is decisive blow and in this position actually Hare krishna and pentala just resign the game and he resigned because he cannot save um, uh, the minor piece so he gonna be minor piece down and of course uh, losing the end game and um, uh, what's the deal here so first of all 
this knight is attacked twice and defended only once so uh, it can't be defended uh, more times and if the knight is moved wherever it's moved and uh, then actually this bishop would be not defended and then white just can you know pick up this bishop with check so that's the free piece and um, and the only move may be queen on c7 but it also um, doesn't work a bishop takes on c7 bishop takes on d4 and now white don't take on d4 actually that would be the blunder um because because knight can take on d7 so a bishop has to take on d5 and now white has just extra piece so nothing can be done bishop c3 knight c4 and of course extra knight uh, is enough to win the game and also extra pawn so this is why in this position uh Hare krishna pentala just resign the game okay so i'm gonna cover more games from uh prague chess festival 2020 just uh i'm gonna jump for two more games of the winner of Kerns cup 2020 because you know uh she deserved to to know to to show why she won such a strong uh women tournament in saint louis so uh and then i'm gonna back to uh, to this tournament in prague chess festival 2020 so if you don't want to miss um, any of the games click subscribe uh you know push the bell button and um, yeah if you like this video press like if you for some reason don't like this video press unlike and leave the comment which games you would like me to comment if you have some favorite players if you have you know some favorite games just let me know in the comment below and um, yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next one